This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Thursday, 28th December 2023. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Coyote. President Bola Tinubu says his job as Nigeria's president is monumental and not a one-man's job. He has therefore asked for more collaborative efforts from state governors to help fight poverty, terrorism, and promote agriculture. The president was speaking at a state banquet held in his honor at the Lagos House Marina, assuring that the financial engineering of the country is ongoing and Nigerians would be the better for it, agreeing that the country is presently challenged, but all of that can be surmounted. It was not all jamboree, celebration and paying glowing tributes to Mr. President, but also an opportunity for a heart to heart talk, including calls for intervention with Governor Babajide Songwolu taking the lead, asking for a special status for Lagos, community policing, legislative autonomy across the country, and a verified constitutional role for traditional rulers. A one minute silence was held in honor of Arakore Rotimi Akere Dolu, the late governor of Ondo State. In line with the Constitution, the acting governor of Ondo State, Lucky Aye Datiwa, has been sworn in as the seventh substantive governor of the Sunshine State. Aye Datiwa, in his inaugural speech, says he accepts responsibility of taking over the reins of governance and affairs of Ondo State with a heavy heart following the unfortunate loss and passing of his principal, Arakorin Olurotimi Odoayo Akiri Dodu. President Tinubu described the second term governor who was expected expected to conclude his tenure in 2024 as a fearless fighter, brother, confident and political soulmate. His brother governors described him as hardworking, diligent, intelligent, honest and courageous, saying death has denied Nigeria one of its finest. Rotimi Akere Dolu S.E.N. fondly called Aketi died in Germany after a protracted illness on December 27 at the age of 67. Consequently, Governor Lucky Aye Datiwa has declared a three-day mourning period in his honor. Israeli Minister Benny Gantz has warned that the military will act to remove Hezbollah from the border with Lebanon if its attack continues. More than 100 people have been killed in Lebanon, most of them Hezbollah fighters, but civilians, including three journalists. Hezbollah, a Shia Muslim organization, is designated a terrorist organization by Western states, Israel, Gulf Arab countries, and the Arab League. Its leadership praised the unprecedented cross-border attack launched by Hamas gunmen on southern Israel on October 7. In in which at least 1,200 persons have been killed, most of them civilians, and about 240 others were taken hostage. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. Continue to enjoy the celebrations.